Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this early release for members video. If you guys are a channel member, then you're seeing this video out a couple weeks before it will hit everybody else. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I plan on putting more tutorials and content out for you guys, as well as members only speed builds from our member island, which I'm really excited is almost ready to start decorating on. I'm really excited about that. We're almost there guys. We are on our members island. So I have made this code for the members on only island of blossom and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I really loved it. Let's just get started. First, we're going to start with the green ring. We're going to do it about four spaces away from the edge, both corners, and then we're just going to arc it together and try and fit it together and make it look a little bit rounded to each side. It doesn't matter to so much as far as perfection goes really it's just setting down a base shape and plotting um, where we can put our flowers right so it doesn't have to be perfect it's actually better if it's not perfect because there is perfection and imperfection when it comes to custom designs then i just go through and i add all of my highlights first just because that to me that um is the easiest thing to do. I add the highlights. I keep in mind my light source, which I always talk about. Light source is so important. And then I add my shadows according to my light source as well. So then I go through and I do that. And then I went through and I added the leaves. So the leaves were the final thing that I added. And I just made them so that they would connect to that initial little um, vine. And then also some that were fallen around the edges and then I did the little shadows and apparently forgot what I was doing and didn't connect them to the vines at first but then I went back and I fixed it and then I added in the highlights and then I shadowed in on the vine where it would be like underneath flowers and stuff I went back and I made the big flowers a little bit smaller I felt like they were just a little bit too big so I went back and I made them a little bit smaller and then I just went and I repeated on every single side, all four corners. Um, I used a random number of flowers, usually either two or three big flowers and two or three small flowers on each part of the ring. There's no real rhyme or reason to why or how I did any of that. It wasn't like um, planned out how I was doing it. It wasn't something that I planned I just kind of did whatever was feeling right with me at the time if you want to copy any of this of course it's going to be in the members only chat in our discord for a while and then when I move and make this video public then it will be over on the hard mode or honey sweet mode custom code area where I put all of my pixels at um, for right now, I will be hiding it so that it's only visible for members, but then after when the code is released to everybody, then it will be available to everyone. So right now, we are just connecting those leaves um, just like we did on the last one. It's a pretty simple process, and then we're just adding little fallen petals everywhere because I really like those. I thought that they were super cute and just a nice addition to a fairy ring, right? It just makes me think fairy ring. I honestly, I love this code so much that I, now I want to use it like on all of my islands, which is probably not the best thing. I did make it specifically for Blossom and to possibly be used over on um, Serenity the in the blue variation, but I'm not exactly sure. I just think that it did come out cute and I really am looking forward to being able to use it on this island. I will be coming out with so many more rugs and codes like that, windows, rugs, and custom standees, even some umbrella designs for um, like stacks of books and things for if you guys don't have Nintendo online and you want to be able to make these on your own. So those will all be coming out as well. If you think that I should share my pixels over on my community tab, then let me know. It might be something that I'm... Um, considering doing and if you guys would like that or if you want to see them over on my Instagram let me know and I will see about putting them somewhere um, somewhere else besides discord I keep it in the discord right now just because it's a right really nice sweet friendly community 
I also um, will leave down in the description, I'll leave my creator code. If you just want to download this code and use it without having to make it yourself. And um, my color palette, if you want to copy the color palette, and I'll put the colors for all of the different flower variations that I make. Okay, so I'm going to let you watch me make this for a little bit, and I will get back to you in just a moment. Very often for a lot of my codes after I make it, for future me, I go and I make it in several colors so that I have it to fall back on in the future if I don't want to remake that code or if I go, oh, I had this once upon a time and it would have been great if I made it in this color because I've done that before. And so now I just make it in a few colors. So I made it in yellow, white, pink, and blue as well as purple. And there we have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making it. I know you guys can be doing absolutely anything in the world. I appreciate any amount of time that you spend here with me. To my channel members, thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate you so much. And if there is anything that you would like to see from me or you would like from me um, on the channel, then please let me know. I will see you in the next one. Bye.